Hey, what's going on YouTube? I uh, I just want to do an update on this tank. Made some pretty decent sized changes, but before I get to the changes, I just want to show you the growth and the colors of these crypts. You know, they're just coming out great. Um, with uh, I added some more T5s to this tank, so I got 216 watts now opposed to 208 or 108. So I doubled it. And as you can see, just the color of the crypts is just coming in completely different than the way it was. And then I put CO2 on this tank, so that you know that just boosted up to the Rutella Indica, which I think it is. You know, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you know, it's coming in really good. It's just you know growing. I keep cutting it, putting it down, cutting it, putting it down. And I'm just hoping it gets real thick, takes over that corner, and you know it's just gonna look real good. It's gonna have a contrast to these all these crypts that are like a nice, uh, like dark majestic color. Or at least that's how I see it. I don't know, but yeah, this tank's going good. And then, you know, this guy right here is just the mama plant. She's just putting out uh, new crypts. Like, I don't know. I'd say she puts out a new one every two or three days. So pretty crazy. Um, a lot of fun off to dig in there, cut them up, replant them. I just want to wait as long as possible so I don't, you know, piss the mom plant off. But anyway, so this uh, this sword's coming back. It's uh, not doing great, but, you know, it's doing better. I think... Um, you know, just with the CO2, with the extra furs I've been putting in, put another uh, root tab under it. I think it's it's helping, but it's a slow process. I just want to see how it turns out. Might get rid of it, don't really know. Uh, the Crypt Sprallus, doing well, uh, propagating as well. And, you know, just really like this plant. Really, really like it. So, anyway, here's the change. I got rid of the Amazon Sword, and I replaced... Well, I actually had three. I put them in another tank that had dirt in it, and I figured that they would do... A lot better in there so it was just a better fit all around so this is actually Blixia japonica and I got this from dead aquariums or dead aquariums however you pronounce it um great guy you know real good to work with sent me some really healthy plants gave me uh, you know big quantity of plants for a decent price so you know I definitely recommend him he's a great guy got a good channel I'll put uh, the link to the description or the link to his channel in the description below and, uh, you know, real good guy. So, anyway, these are the pinwheel chain swords. Or, yeah, something like that. I don't know. Pinwheel swords. I don't know if they're chain swords. But, um, these guys are really cool. They're easy to grow, easy to propagate. You know, they're slow growers. But, uh, it's like Trident Fern or something like that. Or Java Fern. So, they're really cool. Uh, I'm getting rid of them. If you guys want them, let me know. We can work out a, a, a price. I'm just looking to get, you know, a few bucks out of them. I'm not what, looking to make a killing or anything like that so if you guys are interested in those let me know um this this empty space right here once they're gone i'm gonna do a carpet plant don't really know what yet but um i think it'll look really good so that's what i'm gonna do with that water sprite going crazy i am getting rid of the water sprite i don't know i might put it to a new part of the tank but it really doesn't fit in well and i ordered a whole bunch of uh stem plants and i'm gonna put them back there and the light went out, so I guess that's the video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.